Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you the Tuesday, 04 Feb. Equities higher overnight. Um, Aussie also higher. The RBA did nothing. Let's take a quick look around, see what we're going to do today. Aussie was very stubborn yesterday at that sort of 07 level. Traded down to 78 last night somehow, pre, pre RBA. RBA was on hold, pushed higher. This can go higher now. Um, now that the RBA is out of the way, uh, we like long Aussie today. Um, so try and collect between 08 and 98 in the Aus. Euro Swiss, I'm talking about it. Dumpster fire down there at uh, 106.65. Held dojied now a higher high today has this turned a lot of people will have been drawing this line this little bingo number is that going to break today a little bit steep not the best line uh, but something to consider our old friend dollar rand is lower uh, we never like buying czar but just as a telltale sign here, this as adds to the Rick's risk on cocktail. I don't think this is going to last, um, but today looks like we're going to be a little bit risk on. Our old friend Euro Yen, 120.40. We just traded 39. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? What's up with this 40 level? Who is at 40? Um, don't know. This is very important level. Um, should break today, this uh, 120.40. Let's see what happens. Aussie N, obviously higher. We got choked out of this like a chicken yesterday. Ridiculous. Um, through the 81 level. Now we're, we're higher. Is this now change? Or are we going to get consolidation? I mean, this can go up to 73.80. It's got another percent in it. Um, dollar yen up at 82. We like selling dollar yen um, between 90 and the figure. We'll have to see see how this euro yen goes. By the way, if euro yen does go well on this call, we're just going to end it early today and uh, get down to business 35.6 at the moment. Um, gold obviously a little bit lower. Almost bearish engulfed yesterday, which is kind of weird. Where are we on this virus? Virus, um, hard to say. I don't think this thing is going away. I still think crude is a sell-on rally. Um, obviously, we got through 50.40 yesterday, all the way down to 49.66. Uh, 52 is your is your stop out zone. So you got a lot of space up here. You want to trade for an average if you're going to hold this. Should squeeze higher, a little bit more, a little higher, at least above 51 bucks today, considering what the rest of the uh, complex is doing. Let's have a look at that. Uh, Boons, just an old favorite short, right? Everybody knows. Uh, Privateer likes being short boons. 174, 76. Right now, we just sold 74s. Um, 63 was the was the important low yesterday. Probably should have waited for that. We'll probably add then through 63. Um, as far as boons go, you want to be checking the yield anyway. What's the yield? DE10Y. Point of boons are we don't think they're going to raise. Our yield's going to turn here. Minus 44 basis points and head back up to minus 20. We think this is this is the zone for this. It's not exactly an exact science. You can't really technically analyze um, bonds as well as you can Forex because not many people use charts 
and then obviously you have futures contracts which change every three months this is the best way to do it continuation on the yield side um, just looks pretty extended right you can make a lot of I can make a lot of epiphanies here but certainly minus 50 looks like it's very good support anyway we're short boons uh, we think rates are gonna go higher uh, today in Europe so higher obviously means a, a a higher negative number so anyway towards zero directional <laughs> direction of zero um, let's check out this uh, cable PMI today I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna shit the bed uh, just has that feeling to it not sure uh, not sure why construction PMI for January today consensus is 45 no 46 I don't know everyone's everyone's like uh, caught out here in sterling everyone thinks this whole sterling thing is over really and it's just beginning uh, 129.80 there'll be stops below that today we're long euro sterling just paid the 95s. Where are we? 98 euro sterling. It's the same type of trade. Uh, euro sterling is a little bit softer on the vol, but it uh, looks like we're set for a clear out move in cable. So keep your eyes on this uh, on this prize, and we'll see what happens in that construction PMI here. Sterling yen. Wow. How you doing? 140. 140. 90 looks quite slippery down there. Jeez Louise. Um, careful, long sterling people. We don't. Uh, doesn't look too good. Last but not least, dollar turkey. Uh, we started looking at this dollar turkey top side. We see the central bank trying to protect this thing. Um, I don't know. They obviously haven't got the memo. Uh, central banks there's only one case in history where a central bank has been able to stem the downward slide of their own currency so protect their own currency from weakening Malaysia did it back in 98 when they fixed it they just said fuck it we're not trading this anymore everybody out we're fixing uh, ringgit no way Turkey can fix this um, have a look at the playbook in 92 Bank of England could probably give you guys some, uh, some notes on this anyway they've sold billions and billions and billions of dollars here on the 95 to 98 handle this should end quite badly uh, so that being said we like buying dollar turkey try and buy high ones you gotta time this right the carry is not great uh, it's like 20 30 pips a day against you if you're long dollars, but dollar turkey looks ready to rumble Probably not today, but one of these days it's going to surprise some people so it's best to start looking at it now and, and Getting ready for it as far as the rest of the calendar is concerned nothing really much to speak of PPI out of Europe uh, nobody cares uh, ISM New York, nobody cares. Factory orders, nobody cares. Not too much on the data front today. Um, am I missing anything? Not really. We're focusing on levels, we're focusing on the stock market. Um, like long Aussie, like long Euro Yen, watching dollar Turkey. And we like short sterling against an array of different products. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.